Hey everybody, Mr. Traveler here. Guys, got some big news from Carnival Corporation today. Talking about three new ships, three, that they just ordered. We're gonna talk about it right after this. All right, everybody, so welcome back. Guys, if you would do us a favor, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when we upload, and make sure you hit that like button. Now let's jump right into the news. So Carnival is building three new ships. Very exciting news for Carnival Corporation. In fact, the news is so exciting that the stocks are up over a dollar today on the news of this new ships coming. So this is gonna really uh, massively influx the fleet for Carnival Cruise Line. Uh, they've already turned some of the cost of ships into Carnival Cruise Lines, and now they're ordering these new ships. And this is gonna be a whole new class of ship for Carnival Cruise Lines, which that's also very exciting too. Now I want you to keep in mind right now, if you've ever been on the Mardi Gras, the celebration of the Jubilee, those ships come in at about 181,000 gross tons. These new ships that uh, Carnival Corporation has ordered are coming in at 230,000 gross tons. These will be the biggest ships that Carnival Cruise Line is sailing. So that's super exciting. Um, but let's talk about it a little bit and give you some uh, comparison. There's only a few ships that are actually bigger than that 230,000 gross tons. And that would be uh, Royal Caribbeans, of course, uh, the Icon, the Utopia, and the Wonder. Uh, that 230,000 gross tons of Carnival is bigger than the Symphony, the Allure, the Oasis, right? So it's bigger than those. The only thing that's bigger is Icon, the Wonder, and the Utopia. Now, the Icon comes in at a little bit over 248,000 gross tons. So, uh, and then to put this in perspective for you, the Symphony is at 228,000 gross tons. So that's what we're talking about for these new Carnival Cruise Lines. That gives you some kind of a perspective on the size of these ships. Now that's the only details that we have as far as the layout and design. We don't know if they're gonna be kind of mimicked after the uh, Oasis class design like MSC is getting ready to do, right? So MSC is getting ready to come out next year with the MSC World America. And that one's at 215,000 gross tons. So it's uh, still a very large ship, but not as big as most of the Oasis class ships. Uh, but they do have that similar layout of the Oasis class ships with the, uh, uh, you know, the opening in the middle there. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Now, let me say this. This is the part that I'm a little concerned with, is that they're saying that this cruise ship is going to hold like 8,000 people. So let me say some of my concerns about this new ship design uh, that I see potentially coming. My one feedback for the Mardi Gras and, and the Carnival celebration and the Jubilee are that um, they really packed a lot of stuff in there. It's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but it just seems very cramped in some of the areas, especially like the retail areas and things like that. The space just feels really, really cramped. Well, this new class of ship that Carnival's getting ready to come out with is gonna have 3,000 cabins that hold 8,000 people. Now I'm gonna put that into perspective for you. Remember the Icon is just a little bit bigger than, than her and she has 2,867 cabins and holds a max of 7,600 passengers. Um, so the, this new Carnival ship, while smaller than the Icon, is gonna have potential for a lot more people. Um, that's my only concern right there, um, is that I hope that they do the design and layout such that it does, doesn't feel super crowded on board the ship, and I hope that they don't go like really skimpy on the staterooms and make the staterooms really tight to squeeze all those extra people in there. That's really my big concern about these new ships. Other than that, very excited. Uh, I mean, uh, the Carnival stock, we've gotten to the Carnival stock a long time ago, especially uh, after the pandemic when the, when the stock really tanked. And it's just been kind of hovering. And part of the problem with the stock was that the, the debt that Carnival Cruise Line and Carnival Corporation incurred uh, to stay afloat, no pun intended, uh, during the pandemic. So they took on a lot of debt, a lot more than, than most cruise lines. 
And while most of the, you know, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian have kind of bounced back pretty good from that, that Carnival was still struggling. Um, and now with this new news that's on there, the stock has uh, really rebounded and is at a nice level. So it seems like the investors and everybody are really pleased about this new announcement coming from Carnival. All right, so when are they coming out? They are scheduled to come out in 2029, 2031, and 2033. So this is breaking news, but it's news that's gonna take a little bit of a, a little while for it to, to fulfill and get done. Um, but I think that we'll be waiting with bated breath for these new ships to come out from Carnival. Uh, and, and, and can't wait to see the new itineraries and different places that they'll go. And I'm sure they'll start repositioning and doing different things uh, with those ships now that they have additional ships coming onto the fleet. So they're really getting their fleet back to the size that they were uh, pre-pandemic. And as, as you recall, they had to scrap and get rid of a lot of ships uh, really trying to get through the pandemic area. So now they have invested, made these beautiful new ships. We got the Mardi Gras, we got the Carnival Celebration, we got the Carnival Jubilee. And now we can look forward to uh, these brand new ships and a brand new class of ship coming. And of course they've been uh, flipping some of the other brands that Carnival owns and flipping them into Carnival Cruise Line ships as well. So they're really, really, pushing and doing a lot. They're really pushing that Carnival Cruise Line itself. So it's gonna be very exciting to get on board the ship. Can't wait. Uh, drop a hint below. What do you think they're gonna name these beautiful new ships? Do you think they're gonna be anything designed like the Oasis class with the uh, opening in the back of the ship? Uh, and what are some things that you're hoping, what's some technology or different things that you're hoping to see on board these brand new Carnival Cruise Line ships? Let us know down below and we'll put another video up and talk about it. All right, everybody, uh, if we can help you book that dream vacation, please give us a call, 877-697-4470, or we can be reached or you can book right online, www.mr-traveler.com. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Have fun. See the world. Bye, everybody.